सुहाज है डायबिटीज का ओलंपियाड और वहाँ पे कुछ केस स्टडी दिया जाएगा और स्टूडेंट को वहाँ पे आ, केस को सॉल्व करना है Case number 146 year old lady presented with hospital um, with bound in left foot and um, basically the diabetic and hyper decided for the amputation um, basically um, the lady will be affected by gangrene and uh, other organs besides amputation what other treatment would you expect basically glucose level will be increased and it can lead to the infectious condition bacterial infections in that particular area because glucose is a better medium for the infection or bacterial infection then why is there is in the, in the young young newly born units so and uh, here's the question and how on which basis i can have a diagnosis so since we have the glaring portion and this because of the hyperkalemia value for the dk which someone is responsible uh, sir i just want um next question there will be different abc levels in the body so it will lead to hypoosmotic hypoosmolar coma coma will be there if we just correct the pressure level too too fast too fast we it is go for the correction of from the hypoclemia to hypoclemia state the the there is a possibility that there will be hypoclemia king ji it is the same and the cure is
Which antibody is just three? Anti, uh, anti GAD, anti ICA. Which antibody? Anti GAD, anti GAD, anti ICA. Anti GAD and one more? And anti ICA. 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 Yes. So, can I have you your uh, reports? Uh, Blood glucose levels, HbA1c and RBG. Yes, I am giving. I don't know uh, which case you are demanding, but I have some investigations that I have done. Yes, please. Which, which you need? HbA1c we need, and we will be needing uh, fasting glucose and post-prandial glucose. Yes, I don't know. You have a little bit yes. learning of it. But I can uh, see the people. Okay. And whenever you go to urination, you have got this feeling that you are able to boil it completely or <coughs> is there any problem in their pain or anything like that? I didn't pay attention. Okay, no issue. Pain in it? Less likely. Constipation or diarrhea? Usually. Constipation. constipation. So it like, does it alternate or it is like sometimes it's constipation or I, I don't know, my blood said that uh, you eat a lot of, of, of food, so that's why you cure constipation. So, why? Oh, I cannot say my question. <laughs> okay, so, um, do you eat? So, since the patient presented with complaints of unexplained weight loss, polyuria, polyuria, and polyphagia. So, polyuria and polyphagia can be due to either diabetes insipidus or it can be due to diabetes uh, mellitus. So, first of all, to exclude whether it is from diabetes mellitus or anything, we ask for SPA1C report, to our post prandial glucose level and RBG level, and everything was in favor of the, the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus according to the guidelines of WHO. Then uh, to differentiate whether it is type 1 or type 2, we asked for an antibody test which was negative. So that made us to the line of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Uh, because in time. So there can be complications happening in the patient. For example, my patient said that he has got uh, constipation. So that means there's already gastroparesis might be there, diabetic gastroparesis might be there. Other than that, if it is abdominal pain, there can also be pancreatitis is there. Uh, other than that, uh, I asked about uh, urine, so he said he's going for polyuria, but we need to do the AFT also because uh, the meter and we uh, check his uh, RBG at least twice a day during the initial days. Then when we have decided that okay, this dose is suitable for this patient because in diabetes type 2, uh, in treatment of diabetes, we go for a patient centered approach. We make the treatment plan individualized. So when we have finalized that this is the dose of the patient, the patient is stable at this, then we have to go. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.